Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachak Wadash. Double honors unto the head apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well, Shalom, and to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well, Shalom, Shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect and the hearty Shalom, to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure, Shalom, Shalom. So this lesson is inspired by uh, this article I found on biometricupdate.com. It was actually at the top of the screen when I checked the website, and immediately, um, as soon as I seen the header, as soon as I seen the header, I clicked on it, and the spirit hopped on me to put some on wax. Um, as far as this this update, Lord's will, it's edifying and it reaches the ears of the whole for the elect. Let's read the header of the article, and we'll just get right into it. Countdown for businesses, countdown for businesses, and no man might buy or sell. Say if he had the mark. Countdown for businesses to comply, to comply, with leaked European Union. Artificial Intelligence Act draft begins. And this article came out yesterday, January 22nd, 2024, at 625 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is all gradualism, you know, by the wicked elite, you know, and it's actually gradualism by the Heavenly Father to roll this thing out. And this is what our forefather, John, uh, the revelator, John, the apostle, the apostle John, also known by, you know, us in the knowledge as John, the revelator saw on the island of Patmos. He was prophesying against the Roman Empire, the ancient Roman Empire, which is what we're doing right now, prophesying against the modern-day Roman Empire under the beast, you know, basically the beast system, the beast. Uh, we're prophesying against the beast, NATO, the EU, Babylon the Great, which is America, so on and so forth. Uh, well, our forefather John saw this technology being rolled out, saw the revitalization of the ancient Roman Empire, you know, the beast whose deadly wound was healed. That's talked about in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. The beast is talking about the Roman Empire, which came back under, you know, under uh, NATO and the EU, you know, America, so on and so forth. But he saw people getting technology put in their body to buy and sell. And that's what's being rolled out right before our eyes. This is the book of Ezekiel 33 and 33. And it reads when this and when all this comes true, surely it will, surely it will. When all this comes true, this is Ezekiel 33 and 33 in the NIV, the New International Version. When all this comes true, and it surely will, then will they know that a prophet has been among them. And we see stage by stage the squeeze getting put on society from what you can say and what you can't say, who you can say it about in the, in the, in the form of... You know, the demonization of the truth, the demonization of artificial uh, alternative news sources, the demonization of anybody who doesn't trust the science. And ultimately, uh, these things are being rolled out, you know, so warnings can go out so the elect can be sealed. This is uh, the first paragraph of the article. Now, I'm putting this up semi raw. I got a few precepts that I have on deck. We'll read the article. A good a good portion of it and we'll just get right into it so an alleged draft of the european union's artificial intelligence act has been leaked online on monday shedding light on how and exactly when europe will regulate contentious issues such as biometric surveillance the 892 page draft was posted online by euroactive technology editor luca bertuzzi bertuzzi sounds like an italian name Bertuzzi. The document was shared with European Union countries and the EU and NATO, that's the beast. The European, it's like the document was shared with European Union countries yesterday afternoon ahead of a discussion scheduled for Wednesday with Telecom Working Party, a EU Council technical, technical body focused on regulating the IT sector. The meeting will be followed by a formal adoption of at, ambassador, at the ambassador level on, Feb, on February 2nd, according to the journalist post published on LinkedIn. Next paragraph. Comments from stakeholders to tech monitor suggest a shorter timeline for implementation than previously understood. The EU Council representative says the final reviews are expected to be completed 
and the act given final approval by the council and parliament by April of the year. Now, when it comes to the wicked elite, um, you know, these these people who do these uh, meetings like the CFR, the Bilderberg, you know, um, Bohemian Grove, Davos. What they'll do is they'll put their plans right before your face. They will already have unrighteous decrees and, and laws drafted months and years before on these things. Like, for example, I'll just say a verbatim disease X. Well, that was a, a, a bill that was put in place for disease X. And I just shared it on my uh, community tab right here. That was drafted. I have it right here because the Elder Yashawamba shared it. That was drafted in June of last year, man. Where is it at? I shared it. The Elder shared it. I think I did share it. But it's right here because I know the, el the Elder shared it. The Elder shared it. So it's HR 38, uh, 3832. Disease X Act of 2023. So this has already been in place for years. And the apostles gave warning about disease X about five years ago. Now, H.R. 6666, H.R. 4860, H.R. 6666, as far as uh, Operation Warp Speed and so on and so forth. Those implementations, as far as those unrighteous decrees, have been on the books for a long time. H.R. 4860, which is the restriction of travel. What that was in place, that was put in place a little while before, you know, they, they did the World Health Organization Peace Treaty under the guise of peace and safety. So they'll have all these unrighteous decrees set in place. Before they roll things out and they usually will roll these things out between the months of March, which is the Roman God of War and July, which is the birthday of the Illuminati, you know, July 1776. And we know these things. So we look out for these things through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Let's go into Ezekiel 33. And the reason when this cometh to pass, Lord will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And when this cometh to pass, what the prophecies? And we've been we've been saying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, starting with our elders and apostles who've been warning about the RFID implement microchip for years, that they were going to roll these things out, you know, famines, uh, demonization of the truth. You have um, in 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 Europe, you have uh, farmers and farming being demonized, you know, being uh, being basically um, meat, you know, the the war on meat. And what did what did the World Economic Forum say? You know, well, they want you to eat bugs and shit, man. You know, and that's all set up to implement a global famine. And you're going to have a lot of countries who are supplying Babylon the Great America with goods turn on America. You know, because you know prophecy has to play out, and the scriptures say that there will be a famine of the word as well. We well, have the truth being demonized in the form of. Alternative media sources, anybody speaking out against uh, what's called popular opinion or uh, what, what they call major news sources. If you don't get your source, if you don't get your information from a major news source, then that's going to be called or, or demonized or called misinformation or, 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 or pretty soon basically be illegal. Eventually, the Lord is going to stop the mouth of his prophets because we've been warning about these things for years, man. And we start to see the, the global push, you know, the, 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 the wicked elite getting more and more aggressive. You're going to see Esau eat him for who he really is. And we've been saying that these people are the devil, man. You know, the, these, the physical counterparts of the spiritual demon Satan, man. And you're going to see Esau's horns. We've been telling our people for years, man, starting with our elders and apostles. And we see these things loud and clear. The vision is speaking loud and clear. This is Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And brothers have been receiving visions also of these of these uh, false prophets getting judged. Because as these things roll out and get more aggressive, their congregations, they're going to get mad at them, man. They're going to get mad at them. HOI, WFI, IUIC, all these Guys out here saying that the mark of the beast is sin, it, it, it's, it's, it's ideologies, it's philosophies in your mind. Well, when this technology rolls out in the form of getting more aggressive, compulsory, under law, unrighteous decrees, you getting put in prison or you being uh, thrown in a concentration camp or you having to get your head chopped off. Well, it's going to get real. It's going to get real. And a lot of these guys who've been teaching these false doctrines, they're going to have 
ultimately a lot of explaining to do. Uh, they have a lot of blood in their hands. This is uh, the article. Let's go back. Comments from stakeholders to tech to tech monitor suggest a shorter timeline for implementation than previously understood. The, an EU Council representative says the final reviews are expected to be completed and the act given final approval by Council and by, par and by Parliament by April of the year, if not earlier. A consultant and former negotiator on the act for Germany tells the publication that businesses should be ready to comply. What? I'll read the sentence again. A consultant and former negotiator on the act for Germany tells the publication that businesses should be ready to comply within six to 12 months. And high risk system providers are encouraged to provide to prepare even earlier. The use of facial recognition surveillance by law enforcement has proved to be one of the largest stumbling blocks in negotiating for the AI Act. Let's go down here. Yeah, the document states that the uses of AI systems for real time remote biometric identification in publicly accessible spaces for law enforcement should therefore be prohibited. Allegedly, you know, they're going to change that except in exhaustively listed and narrowly defined situations where the use is strictly nece necessary to achieve a substantial public interest the importance of the importance of which outweigh the risks this is the point right here those situations include the search for certain victims of crime including missing people certain threats to the life or physical safety of natural persons now what do they say in new york with the new york act 213 well under the guise of peace and safety and you being a threat to the health and safety of everyone else they can throw you in a concentration camp National Defense Authorization Act. That's been in, that's been in place for years, man. So all these things are rolling out and getting more aggressive. And Barakatia Halabashim Yal Shai. These things have to happen. There's no deliverance without, um, you know, you being put through the fire. There's no there's no deliverance without the destruction. You know, America has got to be destroyed. You know, the chip has to be rolled out because these things are written. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Let's finish this sentence. We'll get a few more precepts and wrap on up. Those sentences involve, those, those situations involve for the search of certain victims of crime, including missing people, certain threats to life, certain threats to the life or physical safety of natural persons or terrorist attack. Now, what are they calling, or what are they calling people who believe in the Bible as far as us and the knowledge? Who they demonize and call black Hebrews. Like, there's no such thing as black people. You know. But what do they call us? Domestic terrorists. You know. Uh, you know. Uh, kooks. Crazies. And what are we telling. You know. The believers. To not take the MOT to the B. Don't take. Any inoculations. You know. Don't take anything that Esau Edom offers you. So they're going to consider us at the top of the list of threats to physical safety or natural persons because we're telling people not to trust the science, you know, not to bow down to Esau Edom. Another situation involves the localization and identification of suspects or criminal of criminal offenses deemed serious, the document states. So what's also being rolled out? Well, you have um, this push for basically, you know, um, misinformation and disinformation. Basically, what the European Union and, you know, these wicked elites consider disinformation, misinformation to be criminalized. You have people in Ireland who are being targeted, who are public uh, publishing information on YouTube. Well, they're looking to arrest those people. That whole push is going to go worldwide, man. But enough of my rambling. Let's go to the scriptures. Because this is all prophetic. This is Revelation 13 and 16. And this is what our forefather, John the Revelator, John the Apostle, saw on the island of Patmos. This whole push, this whole techno this whole digital technocracy being rolled out. Through AI, you know, through uh people getting the karagma, that word for Mark in Revelation 13 and 16 is the Greek word karagma, which is a, a stamp or a something that something that goes in your body. That word karagma goes into the Greek word karaks, which is delivering, which is the delivering system, which is the needle 
that delivers that technology through WalletMore, Neuralink, and other versions. It's already being rolled out. People are buying and selling with it right now. And that word Karax goes into the Greek word grapha, which is intelligence data records. It's going to store all your medical records, your inoculation history, your social credit score, your ability to travel or not travel. That technology is already here and people are buying and selling with it and they're, they're, they're rolling it out and making it cool. And also, on the other hand, implementing and setting up unrighteous decrees and drafting these laws to come after people who don't take it. People speaking out against it at the very top level, the servants and prophets of Yahweh Basham and Shai. This is Revelation 13 and 16. And he reads, let's get 15. And he had power to give life into the image of the beast. The image of the beast is the system. The beast is the Roman Empire, the, the revitalized Roman Empire under NATO, the EU, America, so on and so forth. That the image of the beast should both speak. And we see the image speaking loud and clear. The system is speaking loud and clear. It's right in front of your face. And it's caused as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Worship goes into to bow down, to perforate, to basically give in, to cave in. And, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he calls it that Greek word in this precept, Revelation 13 and 16, is the Greek word poel. The Greek word poel, which means to set up, to get ready, to make ready, to be the author of, to set up, to roll out. That's what's being rolled out through AI, through uh, digital surveillance, biometric surveillance, and eventually people putting that in their body, the RFID technology, the NFC technology, the people who are across the pond over there in the, the, the European countries. And he calls it Poel to set up, to get ready, to, make, to be the author of, to make ready. Under what? Unrighteous decrees, compulsory. What did we just read in the first paragraph? It says... I'll read it again. And it reads, I think it's the second, second paragraph. That's what caught my attention. A consultant and former negotiator on the act for Germany tells the publication that businesses should be that businesses should be ready to comply within six to 12 months. Businesses should be ready to comply within six to 12 months. And once again, they roll these things out. They'll 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 they'll, uh, they'll roll these things out. Usually before or after the months of March and July. March is the Roman God of War. March is named after Mars, which is the Roman God of War. March, I just Google it so y'all can see. March, Roman God of War. March, Roman God. Yep. March, which is named after Mars. And it's the, it's the Roman God of War, you know? Mars. I'll, I'll, I'll just do it like this because, you know, Esau Eden likes to hide stuff. Roman God of War. Mars was the Roman God of War and agriculture. That's that's the spirit. Now, what are they also demon, demonizing? Farming. Saying that uh, farmers and cows are implementing, are implementing and in uh, in, uh are implement implementing um, our farmers and cows and natural animals who've been around for thousands of years who we who we've been eating for thousands of years you know are emitting greenhouse gases that's dangerous to the planet so therefore we need to kill the cows we want you to eat bugs that's the that's the mindset of these people man and our people you know the average so-called negro latino and native american they're just too dumb to see it you know ultimately they're too blind they're blinded you know, they, they want to stay in this place, man. You know? Let's go to Revelation 13 and 16. And it reads, And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, Neuralink, or in their foreheads, wallet more. That word causeth is the Greek word poel, which means to get up, to make ready, to set up, to be the author of, to roll out. What? Through unrighteous decrees. Compulsory. We, they expect businesses to comply within six to 12 months and that no man and that no man might buy or sell. Say if he had the mark, the Karabin, which is the RFID technology in their body, which is connecting you to the grid or the name of the beast or the number of his name going into the universal product code system. You know, the number, 
six six six. That that's the that's a part of the bar. That's what the that's what the uh, that's the numerical value of the barcode system, where you can be scanned like a bag of chips, like a soda pop. Well, with that technology, they can do that. When you have that technology in your body, that's connecting to the grid, and you can be scanned. They can track you. You know, who knows what they can do? Also, when they have that in your body, you know, plague your thoughts. You know, bug you out, so on and so forth. And ultimately, anybody who takes that. Anybody who takes that, you're going to be destroyed, man. You're going to be burnt up in thermonuclear fire, you know, and be, and be brought back into the kingdom through the loins of the elect. I'm talking about you Israelites. You know, the heathen, it don't matter if you take it or not, you know. Because <laughs> this, this message is going out to, to you Israelites, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who look like the other nations. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six, going back into the universal product code system. Because when you take that, when you take that karagma, you pledge allegiance to this man in this system. You know? This is a... Uh, I'll get this and I'll close on out. This is 2nd Ezra. Matter of fact, you know what? This is 2nd... Uh, let's go to 2nd Maccabees. 2nd Maccabees 4. This is a good precept. I was reading this chapter yesterday. Matter of fact, three. Second Maccabees three. And this isn't. This is a uh, account right here where Seleucus sent his uh, tax collector, his treasure, Heliodorus, to tax Jerusalem and and take you know gold and whatnot out of the temple. And there was a couple angels that appeared and beat the dog crap out of Heliodorus. And he actually uh. You know, was about to get sent to the spirit world, and ultimately the the high priest, the high priest Onias, threw up a prayer for him, in the form of, didn't he didn't want Seleucus to think that there was any foul play, and then after that he was delivered a message from the angels, because there were angels that came down and beat the dog crap out of him, you know, flogged him if you read it. It's a pretty it's just pretty pretty good account, you know, because the elect are going to be delivered and they're going to be protected, and brothers have been seeing dreams and visions about the elect. You know, brothers being protected in these times to come. You know, but I'll get this. I'll get this on deck. Let's go to Second Ezra, and I'll get a few more precepts, and we'll wrap on up because I, I gotta, I gotta go to work. This is Second Ezra four, fourteen and thirteen, and it reads, "Now therefore set thy house in order," and that's what we're encouraging the body to do. I'm talk, I'm talking to myself first to set our houses in order. You know, ultimately get our minds ready for the times to come. Also coming into the Pasak. Any minor disagreements you may have with a brother or, you know, faults, you want to clear that shit up now. So, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai passes over you in these times to come. Because we're going to we're going to we're going to go through some turbulent times. We're all going to be tested and tried. Second, Exodus 14 to 13. Now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. And that's what we're doing. We're setting the house in order by giving warning and reproving our people to ultimately to not take this and comforting them, you know, with, with these lessons that go out to let them know ultimately to just trust in what Yahweh Bashim Yahashai said. Trust in, trust in, trust in the Lord, you know. Second verses 14 to 14, let, let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. Ain't no niggas coming into the kingdom. You know, ain't nobody with a niggar mentality, you know, coming into the kingdom. Second Exodus 14 and 15. And it reads, set a, and set aside thee, and set aside the mortal thoughts, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste to flee from these times. Let's get another precept. Matter of fact, that's 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. Second Corinthians four and seventeen. It's a good one. Second Corinthians four and seventeen, and it reads, "For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory." So we're going to be tried, you know, like gold in the fire. This is Second Corinthians four and seventeen, similar to uh, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, who, who are known. 
uh, also as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When Nebuchadnezzar, you know, gave the decree of Israelites to worship the, worship the gold statue, you had three men, and three is the number of understanding, who didn't bow down. They didn't cave. They said, we're not going to, we're not going to do it. And that's the spirit that the whole elect has in these days. Because the scripture says in Romans 11 and 4, and also it's also in the book of Kings, the Lord has reserved 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. And we know the image of the modern day Roman Empire, the beast, to be his system. Second Corinthians 4 and 17, it reads, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving us for an eternal glory that outweighs them all. That outweighs them all. I got to get Romans 8. Because this, this goes parallel. I'll, I'll get the KJV. 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. The trials and tribulations that we have to go through, you know, in every in our everyday walk, you know, fighting the old man, you know, um, being oppressed in this wicked society, wa watching wickedness be everywhere and be, be exalted up to the heavens. You know, seeing our people in in a in a in a in a, in a uh, dumbed down state. Yeah, because you know. We, 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 we um, ultimately, you know, living here, you know, you have sometimes, you know, you'll see Jake fucked up, man. You'll, you'll be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord told us our people are going to be like that until the missiles come man. And that's also comfort in this knowledge, knowing that that's not going to be our people aren't going to be like that forever, man. You know. They're not going to be hard headed, stiff neck forever in the form of in the in the kingdom. You know, the scriptures say thy people shall be all righteous, man. But seeing our people like that, it sort of sometimes it'll, you know, it'll fuck you up sometimes, you know. But ultimately, they're not going to be like that in the kingdom. Second Corinthians 4 and 17, and it reads, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. This is Romans. Romans 8 and 18. And it reads, Romans 8 and 18. It's like my, my internet where I'm at. And it reads, For I reckon the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Hold on, man. We got to go through the straight gate, which is a difficult time, Jacob's trouble. But what waits those who endure until the end, who don't bow down, who actually, some of us actually have to, you know, may have to get our heads chopped off or thrown into concentration camp, whatever it be. The, 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 the prize that's at the end of the road outweighs all of this all of that shit, man. And I'm trying to watch, you know, the uh, foul language, but sometimes, you know, we got we to give it to you raw. And for anybody who's new, you know, a curse, you know, foul language isn't a curse. Throwing up a, cur uh, throwing up a curse is praying to the Lord that somebody gets destroyed. That's, that's a curse. Foul language is foul language, rough language. The Lord called... Men, scorpions and vipians, uh, uh, vipers and scorpions. That would be the modern day version. That would be the ancient version of, you know, foul language. You know, to call somebody a scorpion. You know, where are we at? Second Ezra fourteen and fifteen, and it reads: and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste to flee from these times. How do you haste to flee from these times? Ultimately by getting into these scriptures, man. Believing on what the Lord said. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen shall happen. It's like it. For greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done thereafter. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. Because the earth is defiled under the habits of Esau, Edom and his rulership, man. You know, whales beaching themselves. Whole, uh, whole rainforest getting, you know, uh, chopped. You know, this man trying to uh, kill off, you know, uh, livestock. The scriptures say uh, the trees, the, the trees of Lebanon, they're going to rejoice when this man is taken out of power, man. You know. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much more, sh so much more. So much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. For the time is fled away far, the, and leasing is hard at hand. For now 
hasteth the vision to come, which thou hast seen. And we see the visions, the tokens, the prophecies are being made plain upon tables. We see these things, man. We see the finish line. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is Ezekiel 33 again in the NIV. Matter of fact, we'll go to 2 Maccabees because I have it on deck. And it's the 39th verse. And this is right after Heliodorus, who was King Seleucid, uh, King Seleucid's treasure, was sent to Jerusalem to tax Jerusalem. And the angels came down and gave him a reality check and, 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 and beat the dog crap out of him. To the point where he almost died. The high priest on nice is to throw up a prayer so the king Seleucid wouldn't think any foul play was going on. Then the angels delivered him a message thank, saying, Thanks to High King, uh, High Priest on nice, you have your life. You know, and he was and he was asked when he came back to Seleucid, you know, well, who do you think that we should send there? And he says, If you have an enemy, send him there. <laughs> if you have an enemy, if you have anybody, if you have an enemy or anybody you hate, go send him to Jerusalem to, to, to tax Israel, you know. This is 2 uh, Maccabees 4 and 39. And he reads, let's just get it because I have it right here. And Slaki, I don't mean to switch topics, but if I mention something, let's just get it. Yep. <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah, this is uh, 2 Maccabees 4 and 36. And he reads, y'all yeah, get 35. So Heliodorus, after he had offered sacrifice unto the Lord, made great vows unto him. That saved his life and saluted Onias, who threw up a prayer, you know, so he can his life can be spared because the angels beat the dog crap out of Heliodorus. Return with his host to the king, then testify he to all men that the works of the great power which he had seen with his eyes. And we're going to see similar things happen in these times to come. You know, brothers have been getting visions of brothers being delivered out of, you know, um, the, tr the times of the times of Jacob's trouble, you know, and ultimately we read accounts like this to get comfort. You know, the three holy children, Daniel being delivered out of the lion's den. You know, accounts like this where the angels came through because the scriptures say it's going to get so bad that, that the heavenly father is going to send Michael, man. Daniel 12 and 1, you know. And then shall Michael stand, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. Michael's the top. Uh, war angel under Yahweh Shai, who is the chief. Yahweh Shai is the chief of. He's the he's the host, the 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 captain of the hem, of heaven's armies, the captain of the Lord's armies, and right under him you have Michael. It's get it's going to get so bad out here. We're going to need help, you know, but we have help right now through these scriptures. Let's get that as well. Second Maccabees, First Maccabees, twelve. I'd like to end my lessons on a high note. First Maccabees 12, and this is during the Greek Empire, which you have to have to have understanding, which you have to know as far as the history to know the mystery, to understand the scriptures. Yep. First Maccabees 12 and 9, and it reads, Therefore we also, albeit we need none of these things, that we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us. And that's what we have, man. This is 2 Maccabees 12 and 14 and 15. Yep. For we have help from heaven that secureth us, that secures us, so as we are delivered from our enemies and our enemies are brought underfoot. And that's going to happen, man. Believe, Jake. Believe, Jake. This is uh, 2, Mac uh, 2 Maccabees 4 and 36. Then testify he to all men the works of the great power, which he had seen with his eyes. And when king, and when the king, yep, and when the king, Heliodorus, who might be fit man to be sent, and when the king asked Heliodorus, basically, who might be fit, who might be a fit man to be sent yet once again to Jerusalem, he said, if thou as an enemy or traitor, send him there, send him thither, and thou shalt receive him well scourged, beat up, packed out. It's like it received and now shall received him well scourged if he escaped with his life. For in that place, no doubt, 
there is a special power of the Heavenly Father, of the Most High. For he that dwelleth in heaven, this is the point, 2 Maccabees 4 and 39. For he that dwelleth in heaven has his eye on that place. And the, the Lord has his eyes on the elect, man. 2 Maccabees, 4, 2 Maccabees 3. Thawani Yah Bashim Hashai for allowing me to catch myself. This is the third chapter in Maccabees, second, uh, the second book of Maccabees. 2 Maccabees 3 and 39. For he that dwelleth in heaven hath his eye on that place and defendeth it. Just like he's going to defend the hopeful elect, man. And brothers have been getting visions of the elect being defended. For he that dwelleth in heaven hath his eye on that place and defendeth it, and he beateth and destroyeth them that come to hurt it. I mean, we can end the lesson right there. But we'll get Ezekiel 33. Because this is going to come to pass and the elect are going to be protected, man. But we have to give warning. We got to give updates. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're there, man. <laughs> We're there, man. We're here, man. And Barak the Alba Shima This is Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, Lord will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. So when these things come to pass, you're going to know that ultimately the men of Great Millstone, starting with the elders and apostles, who've been, you know, teaching the truth for almost 40 years since I was a kid. So I was like literally swimming in my paw, swimming in my, uh, swimming in my, in, swimming in my, uh, <laughs> in my pops. You know what I'm saying? Put it like that. Since I was in, you know, um, my pops, you know, nutsack. They've been teaching that long. Well, they've been telling you the truth for years, man. They've been telling you the truth since I was a kid, man. You know. And they've been laboring that long. You know, they've been they've been ultimately sent by the Lord to tell you the truth, man, whether you we will hear or forbear. And that extends on down to us. Because we've entered into other men's labors. This is Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, the Lord will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. So when you see all these things roll out, you know, we've been, been starting with the elders and pop, starting with the elders and apostles, we've been telling you about these things for years. Then you're going to know that ultimately the men on the corner who you've been mocking and scoffing, some of y'all been listening sincerely, you know, have been telling you the truth, man. So this is Ezekiel 33 and 33 in the. Let's, let's get second Maccabees again, because that was that was a good one. This is second Maccabees 3 and 39. And it reads, for he that dwelleth in heaven hath his eye on that place. Who? Jerusalem, which is the people before it's a place. If you go into the history during the time of uh, the Greek Empire, the northern kingdom which is the indigenous people who were here before the Spanish Inquisition, the Seminole Indians, the Native Americans, the so-called uh, Dominicans, the so-called Puerto Ricans, uh, the so-called Mexicans, the so-called Mayans, the so-called uh, Aztecs. Now were, were names that were given to you by uh, Esau Edom as well. Aztecas, you know, so on and so forth. You know, that's Spanish. You know, the Incas, the Tainos, well, they were already over here on this side, on, in the Americas, during the Greek Empire. And there's many of uh, accounts that go into the Lord coming to visit the Northern Kingdom. You know, I think it's a Cazuquelo, you know. It's like if I don't have uh, the name right, you know, but those in the know, if you know it, you can uh, throw it in the comment board, you know. This is 2 Maccabees 3 and 39. For he that dwelleth in heaven hath his eye on that place and defendeth it. Talking about the, uh, you know, you can relate this to the whole for the elect. Because there was, this was a story, an account, where ultimately, you know, Jake, you know, was able to see the power of the Heavenly Father. And ultimately, you know, the temple, you know, wasn't defiled, you know. Taxed, you know, gold taken out of the temple. And we're... We're the Heavenly Father's, you know, jewels, man. You know, the temple is the believers. You know, the, the third temple, which is the house of David, the believers, the body. Jerusalem is the people before it's a place. Second Maccabees 3 and 39. For he that dwelleth in heaven hath his eye on that place and defendeth it and beat it and destroyeth them that come to hurt it, man. So, you know, once again, prophecy has to play out. But the Lord again, the Lord's going to protect his elect. So I'm going to close on that right here. Our Lord, you were edified and uh, comforted by this lesson, and it was uh, educational and informative. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach, Radash. 
Give them a double honors unto the head apostles and the elders of the great millstone who do rule well and teach well. Shalom unto the elders and the elder bishops of great millstone as well. Shalom, shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the whole for the elect, the men, women, and children listening and learning from the servants of prophets of Yahweh Bashim al and a hearty shalom to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, shalom. Until next time, next live stream, next camp session, next lesson, shalom, DTA, wa, ababa, ba. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Shalom.